Good morning, folks. We'll be taking a look at several things we're keeping an eye on up at our star. Big earthquake yesterday, some eye candy from the James Webb Space Telescope, and two excellent papers on space weather and human health. Let's start with the last 24 hours on the sun, and we find not only minor pops and surges, a couple M-class solar flares, but also that it's evident there's more interesting features incoming. The sunspots that have been facing Earth for the last several days are magnetically simple. We haven't had as many plasma filaments, but the newer sunspots turning in are a bit more complex and are surrounded by plasma filaments, so eruptive risk is on the rise at the moment. We'll keep our eyes on them as the 5.9 month cycle uptick is almost here. Let's go to seismicity next. Top quake of the day was a 6.4 that struck the waters near Vanuatu. This island takes earthquakes as well as anywhere else in the world with strict building codes and a history of experience. No tsunami or major damage. Eye candy up next, as James Webb looks at a Herbig Harrow object, and it's absolutely stunning. NASA says this is youthful activity as stars are forming, but I see several outburst features that are common in NOVA events. Unfortunately, even after more than 100 years of astronomy, we are simply seeing a moment in astronomical time and don't truly know what's happening at the center here. Top stories begin as interaction between the Earth's magnetic field and cells of all kinds is investigated. Bacteria, fungus, plants, and animals. Over the hundreds of papers we've seen identifying the impacts on cells, we have consistently focused on the ion channels and the electromagnetic aspects of cellular processes. That's exactly where this one comes out in terms of its conclusion, focusing a bit further even on the mitochondrial processes. Good one there. Last but not least, Probably only the third or fourth time we've seen the renal failure studied in terms of solar and geomagnetic activity, but coming to the same conclusions as the others. Higher exposure to solar and geomagnetic activity has a negative impact on kidney function with enhanced impacts on older males discovered here. We greatly appreciate your support. We have lots of excellent resources in the description box below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.